What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our ACC football channel. Our 2019 college football season simulations continue here with the NC State Wolfpack, a team that uh, had a, a pretty decent year last season, but they have a lot to replace this year, so we're going to see what they look like on our video game simulation. They do open up the season with East Carolina and Western Carolina. We're going to go ahead and assume wins in those games and skip ahead to this one against West Virginia. It's on the road, and you take a look here. T.J. Simmons coming up with a big catch for the Mountaineers. They have a 10-0 lead here in the second quarter, and there is Marcus Sims with a catch as West Virginia now up 17-3. Austin Kendall going to take off and run one into the end zone. And no, that's not Will Greer. The number just wasn't changed at that point uh, on the rosters. But anyways, 24-12 to 12 now the score. Fourth quarter, NC State gets a stop. They get the ball back, and they have some momentum with a chance to really get back in this game. And they're able to do that with this touchdown run. And we have a five-point game, but they need a stop on defense. Here comes West Virginia. They're up by five. And they just go for the home run, get behind the defense, and instead of just trying to run the clock out, they go for the the put-away shot there as they take the lead back up two possessions. NC State uh, really just had no chance at this point. Under a minute to go, they are stopped, and they're going to lose this game to West Virginia. 31-19, to the final score. Then they play Ball State. We're going to assume a win there. Again, we didn't simulate all of those games. Didn't have the rosters for all the uh, group of five teams. So that would get them into ACC play. That's it for the non-conference games. They would be 3-1, and one, again, heading into ACC conference play. Here we go against Florida State, 14-10. Seminoles on top. James Blackman is off and running, and there's no one going to catch him. He just takes off and goes all the way to the end zone. So Florida State up by 11. 21-10 the score here. And now another touchdown for Florida State. So they're up uh, rolling here at this point. 28-10. NC State trying to get back in this game. Second quarter. They get stopped. And it's the Florida State defense this time coming up with a stop. And they have a chance to really, you know, just put this game away before halftime. And Blackman does it with this shot. Florida State's offense has looked very impressive in these simulations uh, when you put them in that Baylor offense. They put up 70 points in this game. They win at 70 to 34, so NC State was able to score some in this game, but they just couldn't stop the Florida State offense, and it winds up being a blowout. And yes, Florida State puts up 70 points. That's a pretty nice run there by Cam Akers. 70-34, the final score, so they're going to start off ACC conference play with a loss. They'll be 0-1 there, 3-2 overall. Next game is at home against Syracuse, as you take a look at some of the highlights from this game. Next game is against Syracuse, 3-0 Syracuse on top. First quarter, NC State, that was almost intercepted, but they get it to C.J. Riley for the touchdown, and they're up 7-3. to three. Now McKay to throw. He finds a man, and NC State has a lead here on the orange. That was C.J. Riley again, 17-3 to three now, second quarter. McKay swings it out, and that is going to be a touchdown. Ricky Person Jr. puts it in, and NC State rolls in this one. A bit of a surprise, 33-6 the final score. I think uh, most people probably would pick Syracuse in that game, but it's definitely one that is, is very tough to call. Uh, but, yeah, NC State looking awfully impressive in that game. Uh, their next game is going to be on the road at Boston College. So let's go to that one next. And you can see almost all of these full games over on our ACC channel. If you uh, are an ACC fan, please subscribe to that channel. But here we go. McKay runs it into the end zone. Looking good here early against the Eagles. Now they'll go to the ground. That's going to be a big play inside the 20. Breaks a tackle, and he's loose into the end zone. Ricky Person for the touchdown. It's 14-0. Boston College trying to get back in the game. This time it's the NC State defense coming up with a big sack and a big stop. They're up 17-0 here late in the first half. McKay looking, going to the end zone. That's a touchdown. And NC State up 24-0. Boston College just trying to get back in this game. They just couldn't. They just couldn't get anything going offensively. The NC State defense had uh, their best game of the year so far. They win it 27 to nothing. Defense pitches a shutout. Next game is on the road at Wake Forest early on. Wake Forest getting the touchdown here. They're up 7 to nothing. NC State looking to answer back. They've got the ball. McKay going to take off and run. And he's got a lot of green grass in front of him. He's going to take it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, NC State. 
So we are tied now at 7. 30 to 24 the score here as this game just went back and forth. It was a shootout. Wake Forest gets this touchdown to go up by one as they continue to go back and forth. Fourth quarter now, two minutes to play. Wake Forest up by one. NC State with a big conversion there. They have a chance to take the lead on third down and 13. McKay looking, going to the end zone. That's a touchdown, and NC State has the lead with under two minutes to play. They went for two and didn't get it. So Wake Forest has a chance here on fourth down to win the game potentially. And they don't even throw it past the sticks. That's going to do it. NC State wins 36-31. to They go on the road and get a win over what I believe to be a pretty good Wake Forest team this year. So that is a nice win. They're sitting there just with that one conference loss at this point, looking pretty good. But the bad news is that the next game that they will play is against Clemson. We just did Clemson yesterday, so if you watched that video, you already saw these highlights. But we're going to go to this one now. NC State looked good early. Thayer Thomas coming up with a diving touchdown catch. They're up 7 to nothing. Late first quarter, Clemson finally ties it up as the game will be tied at 7. 10 to 7 now. NC State again with a lead. There goes Trevor Lawrence. It's 14 10 at this point. Now Lawrence on third down and 9 going to the end zone. That's a touchdown as they start to get a little bit of separation. 21 to 13 now. Lawrence here completes this pass for the touchdown and they have a two score lead. 28 to 13. Third quarter now, Clemson gets this touchdown, and that really, uh, that's going to make it tough because you're down pretty big now, and it's the defense for Clemson coming up big. The offense was starting to get rolling. Uh, here we go, fourth quarter now. They get another touchdown. That's going to give them 42, and that would be what they finish with. 42-13, to 13, the final score in this one. Uh, Clemson's defense really stepped up there in the second half despite – trailing in that game early nc state loses just their second conference loss of the season though so they're uh, still looking pretty good uh, overall not going to win the, the division of course because clemson won it we already know that they won all of their conference games but still a uh, pretty good season so far the next game is against louisville juan pass runs it in and the cardinals are up seven to nothing nc state looking to answer back here and there goes Ricky Person Jr. all the way down to the one-yard line, and then they would punch it in to tie this game at seven. And this was a really good game. We're tied at 24 now in the fourth quarter, back-and-forth type game. And it's the Louisville defense coming up with a huge turnover in this one. That is going to be a pick six. He'll take it all the way back for the touchdown. Louisville up 31-24. to but NC State would answer back. A little toss play here. Person runs it in, and we're tied at 31. Louisville now with it. 317 to play. Juwan pass. Looking, and that's going to be intercepted. An ill-advised throw there. And that's going to give NC State the ball back inside the 30-yard line. And they go straight to the ground again. Ricky Person Jr. running people over. He's going to go all the way to the end zone. Touchdown. NC State, they would take the lead. Now Louisville on a second and 17. They've already given up a sack here. And they're going to be taken down again. Another sack. It's third down and 20. And all of a sudden, it's getting out of hand here. Third and long. They get sacked. Again, this NC State pass rush really stepping it up. And an interesting decision here. I know they have all three timeouts. And it's fourth and 23. But... Um, yeah, they decide to punt there. That means NC State can actually win this game at the first down. And they get it right here. And that's going to do it. NC State gets the win 38-31. to A close game. A, another high-scoring game. A good one. But NC State gets another win. And they're sitting there with just two conference losses. Looking pretty solid at this point. Next up, it's a road game against Georgia Tech. It was all field goals in the first half for NC State. They're up 9-0, but Georgia Tech gets on the board here, makes it a 9-7 game. Third down and four. McKay here, that's knocked away, and Georgia Tech gets a stop. They get the ball back, and they got a chance to take a lead in this game. They're all fired up on defense on a third down and four. They're not going to convert as NC State gets a stop. So that was their opportunity. Again, a chance to take the lead in this game. Now NC State with a chance to increase their lead. Third down and 10. McKay taking a shot. It's basically a jump ball, and NC State comes down with it. And now a swing pass, and that's going to be, actually, he is out of bounds. And so they would have to settle for another field goal. There's a lot of field goals in this game for NC State. They're up 12-7. to 7. 
Now it's 15 to 10 after they added another field goal. Georgia Tech gets stopped on a fourth down and two. That was a big play in this game. On third and 12, though, Georgia Tech with a chance to get the ball back. McKay, though, going to the end zone. It's another jump ball type play, and they come up with it. And NC State increases their lead. They're now up 22 to 10, so that's going to make it really tough for Georgia Tech. Uh, down two possessions, they get sacked there. It's fourth down and 18. Oliver to throw again, trying to convert it. It's knocked away, and that is going to do it. NC State wins it 22 to 10. Pretty good effort from the Yellow Jackets. Their defense played solid in this game, but uh, NC State gets the win despite just getting that one touchdown. Again, everything else was field goals. They have five field goals in this game. One more game left on the schedule for NC State. It's a home game against North Carolina. Let's go to that one now. 3-0 NC State early. North Carolina, though, taking the lead with this touchdown. 7-3 is the score. McKay delivers here, and NC State back on top. C.J. Riley with a clutch catch, 10-7 now. And here comes North Carolina. So back and forth we go. This was uh, a very exciting game. But into the the defense has kind of stepped up, and we're into the fourth quarter now, 17-16. to 16. Still a really close game. As a diving attempt there to make that catch is going to be just short. And NC State would settle for a field goal, but they miss it. That means North Carolina has the lead still, 17-16. to 16. But that is going to be incomplete. That's a stop, so NC State now the ball back. On fourth down and one, big play in this game. They try to convert. McKay going to run with it. He'll pick it up, and that keeps the drive alive. NC State, again, still down in this one. Just over five minutes to play. Second and ten, they pick up the first down. They're on the move. And now on a third down and 20, McKay completes this pass, but it's going to be short of the first down. So fourth down and three, they have a chance at a field goal. And this time they make it. So it's 19-17, to 17, North Carolina down by two, and now they have a chance uh, to take the lead maybe with a field goal of their own. They're all the way down inside the 20. Third down and three. They're going to get stopped here. NC State's defense coming up with a stop, and they would settle for a field goal. Let's see if they can make it. Well, they had a false start, which is going to back them up. And is that five yards going to make a difference? Here we go. Fourth and 12. Kick is up. And he missed it off the upright. The five yards maybe made a difference as the kick is no good. It is no good, and NC State will get the ball back. They have a chance to run the clock out with the first down, third down and three here. They pick it up, and that is how the game would end. NC State gets the win over North Carolina, and this team finishes the season 9-3, and three, just two losses in the ACC. Remember, one of those losses came to West Virginia. So a very successful season here for the Wolfpack. We will see if it plays out that way in real life. Again, this is just a video game. We don't know if it's going to be accurate or not. Sometimes in the past, these simulations have been really accurate, and sometimes they have not. We'll see which way it goes for NC State. Thank you for watching this video. If you are an ACC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in ACC football, keep it right here.